sorry, I, my camera cut off there. So, uh, I like to do the hands just so there's no like stuff in the, in the fingers. Ugh. Yeah, I've been like really stressed out because I have a 14 year old and I've never raised a teenager before and I'm finding it like really ridiculously um, difficult. Not that I have a bad child. It's just, um, you know, they start, they, at this age, they start really checking their boundaries. And um, all my kids are really good. I have really good children, really great children. Like, they, they just are. Like, everybody always tells me that, too. And um, my mom is an awesome mom, though, so that it just makes sense that, that my, the raising techniques... <laughs> would uh, pass on or whatever, you know, but like, so he's 14 and he's really checking boundaries. And I just have to say, like when I was 14, it's so funny. Okay. This is true story. So I <laughs> just reminds me of what I did the other day. So the other day I found my, my diary when I was 14 years old. Like, no lie, just randomly showed up, like, magic. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I haven't read it in so long. And I was just having, like, difficulties with my son and stuff. So I was like, oh, I wonder, like, what it says. And after, like, when I was reading it, so the first page is, like, this beautiful writing. And I think I was, like, when I first started writing in it, I was, like, 12, maybe, like, almost 13. And... It's like this beautiful cursive writing. And I'm like, wow, I wrote really nice when I was that age. And then it kind of just like goes on and, you know, tells some stories and some feelings and which were pretty normal. And then like a couple pages later, it's not cursive anymore. It's just writing. And but it's still good. It all is all going in the, like the same direction and, you know, really decent and but then it started to be like, it started to be like, oh, I'm going here. I'm going there with my parents and I hate this and I hate that. And, you know, it just started getting like grouchier. And then, and then a couple pages later, it's like, oh, sorry, I haven't written to you in a long time. My life is this and my life is that. And like, it's so angry. And then it's like, the writing is messier. And then a couple pages later, it is like the messiest writing ever. It's like I have dual personality. I was like, what? How is that even possible? Like, how is that even possible? I was like, obviously, you know, it's showing the, the emotions that, that kids go through at that age, but it's like I it's like I had a friggin' gremlin living inside me that wanted to come out. It, it was like four different people wrote in that book. Like, I am not even joking. It, it's like scary. I was like, that is messed up. Like, <laughs> and I was telling my mom about it. And I was like, I was crazy from like, I changed so much from 12 to 14. You know, and it was like, I couldn't even believe I talked that way either. I had some like really bad language and well, actually it doesn't really surprise me, <laughs> but at that age it does, you know, I was like, I am like, I have dual personalities. Like what the heck? And she's like, no, see, now you know that these kids, these, these ages, it's like, they struggle with themselves too because they're not acting like they used to act and they want to be treated you know they want to be treated like adults they want to be treated older they want to be treated with more respect and stuff like that but because we're adults we we still it's like and you're still trying to like shelter them and stuff you know but in all reality they it's better if you treat them like they do have some sort of um, pull over what happens, you know, but you you absolutely have to set boundaries for them because otherwise they're just going to walk 
all over you. And it's hard for me. It's hard because I want him to be an individual. You know, like I want, I want him to make up some decisions. And if he makes bad decisions, he needs to, he needs to um, d decide what the, the outcome is going to be, you know, how to fix it. What's, if I make a stupid decision, what do I have to do to fix it? You know, like, so that's the one thing. And so I was like talking to him about it. And um, I was like, you know what, if things are happening to you and you feel like you're trapped or you feel like you're in a bad situation, well, you need to have problem solving skills. You want to be treated as an older kid, as an adult. Well, then you need to start making responsible decisions because they're, because in all reality, when you make a decision, you're the one that's going to have to suffer the consequence. And then he's like, Mom, oh my God, that is such a teacher thing to say. Like, consequence. Why do people have to use that word? And it's like, because it's true. Because your actions are going to involve some sort of consequence, good or bad. But it's your decision if it's good or bad. Like, maybe I... Maybe I was, did something walking down the road and I seen a lottery ticket and I decided to pick it up and look at it and the consequence of that ended up me winning a million dollars by fluke. Like, consequence doesn't have to be bad, I don't think. Maybe I'm totally wrong. All I know is 14-year-olds are not capable of making great decisions right now. Like, it... You know, he's going to make a lot of dumb decisions because it's puberty. He's 14. He just turned 14. So he's younger than most of his friends. And guys, like boys, are just like, ugh. it's like, you know, they're always trying to like prove themselves and this and that. And it's like, you know, it never changes. When I think, when I think about when I was his age and most of my friends were guys because I'm like a guy pretty much. And, um, you know, it was all my best friends were guys always, like always. So, you know, and they're always like, oh, this person, that and this person, I'm going to beat this, but I'm going to knock this person out or whatever. And like, it's just so stupid. Like, I just don't believe in violence at all. But kids these days, <clears throat> they almost um, see I put I put more details on her, give her little dots and stuff. So um, anyways, like, psh just a really hard topic because as a parent you want the best for your kids but you can only protect them so far you know like you can't have beef with people and then bounce out like you if you're gonna have beef with people over stupid petty stuff then you're the one that needs to fix it because when you fight or flight and you and then you you have beef with people and then you flight like that does that's not good like you need to not beef with people then <clears throat> you know if you can't handle what comes after running your mouth and you know thinking you're all tough and doing this and doing that like and I don't trust anybody ever these days either like especially like hit like I feel so bad for the next generation like I feel so bad for them. Social media, you know, it's bad enough that they have raging hormones and that they have gremlins living inside of them. And then they have the world judging them on social media. And everything goes viral. Like, everything goes viral. Everyone thinks it's funny to record fights and then to post them on, on social media. Like, that's not cool. That's not cool. It's not funny. Like, so many people do it. It's like they want to just fight so they can get it on camera so so then they can get people looking at it. Like, what is the point of that? I just don't... You know what? I think you should have to be a certain age to have a cell phone, you know, to have, like, media on your on your cell phone. I think that there should be some sort of, like, block. I'm, I know that there are blocks, but let's face it, like, even if you block your kid off of those stuff, like, they're still going to get to it. So I think that it should be like, there should be like an age limitation, you know, like alcohol. But then you get stupid adults that do that too. 
really depends on what it depends on a lot of things all I know is it's hard it's really hard it's been stressing me out like you know it's like everything I say to try to make him feel good and feel good about his decisions or you know how to how to have problem solving skills or whatever it's like everything I say is not right you know it's like, oh, whatever, this, you don't know how it is. Well, actually I do because I was, li I was raised in a huge city as a teenager, you know. I lived in Surrey my entire life and I know how it is. I was once 14. So there she is. So I'm going to bake her and then, uh, so I'll bake her three times, probably, yeah, two or three times. And then um, I'll take some photos for you guys and show you what she looks like. Thanks for watching. Bye.